Hundreds of tadpoles born in an aquaculture lab housed at the U.S. Army's Center for Environmental Health Research at Fort Detrick are the test subjects of a new study commissioned by the Army's Public Health Command. Perchlorate, a compound that is known to be toxic, is used extensively as a propellant in rockets and fireworks, says Major Jonathan Stallings, deputy commander at the center. Another compound, periodate, is being studied to see if it would be a suitable replacement for the toxic perchlorate, says Major Stallings. Used as an analog for the human endocrine system, the African clawed frogs will be exposed to periodate at precise doses to determine if the compound has adverse effects on the frogs. The Public Health Command needs the new compound studied to know what effects periodate would have on humans. They're looking for the complete picture uh, and they need research data to help make those decisions uh, at the Public Health Command. Stalin says that the frogs' response to the toxicants in their endocrine system goes a long way to determining whether there's a significant risk to be concerned about. The researchers are using a mixture of local well water and tap water with an emphasis on maintaining high quality standards. You know, in the middle of the study, we want to make sure that all the controls are done properly and we've got some really good high quality H2O. The adult frogs, 20 of them in all, are checked by staff at least once daily, with the tadpoles receiving particular scrutiny to monitor for any change in condition. Our vets and we've got, you know, uh, vet comes over, they actually have better health care than I do, but you know what are you going to do? 